Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kelly and I am delighted to be your Master of Ceremonies on this special day. The COVID-19 pandemic has led to a digital transformation in nations and businesses worldwide, including the education sector. While it has disrupted physical events such as graduation ceremonies, it also presents an opportunity for us to adapt and grow. We are glad to be able to hold this graduation ceremony virtually to honour your achievements and celebrate this momentous occasion with all of you. Graduation is perhaps one of the biggest milestones you will achieve in your life. This is the moment where you are officially conferred your degree by the university and a moment which you will likely remember for many years to come. It is our honour to have graduates and their families join us. And this graduation ceremony is even more special as we are celebrating cohorts from the past two years. We would also like to welcome our faculty staff from Coventry University who are joining us from the UK. To commence this afternoon's proceedings, it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Sam Chun Yin, Dean, PSB Academy, who will present the welcome address. Distinguished guests, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it is a wonderful privilege to join you in celebrating the achievements of our graduates. Graduates, I offer my heartfelt congratulations to you. Coventry University and PSB Academy, as respected institutes of learning, share a common goal of providing our students with a quality global education that will empower you for the challenges of tomorrow. Since 2014, our partnership has grown from strength to strength, with 15 courses available at both the undergraduate and postgraduate levels. We will continue to deliver a higher education experience that prepares graduates for rich and fulfilling lives. Graduates, your achievement is worth celebrating. Getting a degree qualification is never easy. During your journey with us, you had to learn and apply difficult concepts and solve challenging and unfamiliar problems. As Henry Ford said, thinking is the hardest work there is, which is probably the reason so few engage in it. It is therefore natural that you have found your learning journey challenging as you sought to make sense of the theories and terms in your course. This purposefully builds sophistication and resilience in your character and internalizes concepts that will enable you to be professionals in your chosen career. Graduates, you have made it. Today marks a significant milestone in your life. Whether you work for a small or medium enterprise or a multinational corporation, as a scientist or an engineer, each day you will face decisions that test your courage and values. The training you received to reason, solve problems and relate with others will be invaluable. In life, we may not always have the answers. We need to have a creative relationship with problems and think how best we can deal with them. The world is rapidly changing. We are in the fourth industrial revolution and the pandemic has accelerated the digitalization of services. New fields of knowledge exist today, including data analytics, cybersecurity, blockchain, and fintech. In this digital era, you have at your disposal a dazzling area of communication and information tools. The excellent education you celebrate today empowers you to pursue possibilities as you realize your dreams. Today, we celebrate not just the end of a fruitful journey, but a launching point. 
aim high and have the courage to try new things. Danny Mayer has this to say, Life is a series of waves to be embraced and overcome. As you run towards your future, never stop learning. Take up causes, keep up with the current affairs, listen to talks and read widely. Excel in tasks that machines will not be able to replicate and stand as equals with the best in the world. The secret to lifelong success is lifelong learning. Thank you, Dr. Sam Chun Yin. I now invite Professor John Latham, CBE, Vice Chancellor, Conventry University, to deliver the graduation speech. Honoured guests and graduates, esteemed colleagues, friends and family from across the world, it is my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you on this day of celebration, achievement and community. Graduation ceremonies are one of the best parts of my job. It is always a pleasure to share these occasions with our graduates and their proud families and friends. I know this is not the ceremony you envisaged when you started your journey with us, but nothing can or should diminish your achievement. I know how much your degree means to you because of the hard work and study that has brought you to this point and all the opportunities it will allow you to grasp as you go forward in your chosen career. Your achievement is all the greater because of the circumstances you have faced. Every student leaves university with much more than a degree. I hope you leave with the benefit of greater resilience and determination as a result of the unprecedented challenges we have all faced. So congratulations and well done. Congratulations also to your family and friends who share in your successes and achievements today. You can all be immensely proud. Coventry is a university recognised for its high quality teaching, its innovation and excellence in student experience, and its focus on ensuring graduates are job ready with the skills employers need. We have also reached our highest ever placing in the QS World University Rankings. Every success we have is your success, both now and in the future. Today, in this ceremony, we celebrate your achievements and those of your faculty. We are a forward-looking university who works to give our students the academic, professional and vocational expertise to succeed. Your contribution has added to our shared success. You are joined today by your faculty colleagues and peers and some of the academic staff who have supported your journey. What you have achieved individually has been possible because of the work of others too. They have helped you. You have contributed to their success. It has been a partnership. Success and excellence come from a commitment to make a change, from a willingness to invent and try new things, and from working with others. I believe these to be the Coventry characteristics. They are strong values in our city and have deep roots at Coventry University. Throughout this city's long history, we have adapted in a changing world to find new purpose and success. From ribbon weaving to motor car manufacturing, from the ashes of war and the destruction to a modern university city ready to embrace the opportunities of the latest digital technology. Coventry reimagines, renews and looks ahead. We look to the future and seek to make a better one. We invent and create, and we are proud to do so by working with others. That is the Coventry way, and it is built into the values of this university. Sometimes our partners are from the city and region, local industry, community groups, our hospitals and other institutions. Sometimes our partners are global, from different universities overseas, international businesses, or connected to us online. Your achievements, which we are celebrating today, are the product of those partnerships and collaborations. They are the combination of your hard work and the ethos of this irrepressible city. That is why you are all Coventrians today. You inherit a legacy alongside your award of centuries of creativity, invention, and collaboration. And you are in good company. You join a Coventry University community of tens of thousands which reaches around the world. 
We are creative and inventive. We work together and we make a difference. I encourage you to find others who share that same ethos and spirit. I know many of you will have had huge contributions to our communities during the coronavirus and I applaud you for your selfishness of your efforts. The world has changed in a few short years of your studies. The future may seem uncertain at times, but please remember that you and the skills, knowledge, resilience and drive you possess are vital to help society and industry recover and rebuild from this pandemic. You will always find new ideas and people to support you here. You will always be welcome. I wish you every success. Thank you, Professor John Latham. The presentation of awards will now commence. We now invite Professor John Latham, CBE, Vice Chancellor, Conventry University, to admit the students to the awards for which they have qualified. Following this, the student names for each degree will be presented on the screen.
Congratulations to all our graduates. I would now like to call upon our valedictorians to deliver their speech. They are none other than Samantha Sutanto, representing the undergraduate cohort, and Sumitra Devi, daughter of Subramanian, representing the postgraduate cohort. Hello to all and welcome to commencement. It is truly an honor to be here today giving out the speech as valedictorian of undergraduate class of 2020. It saddens me that we cannot meet in person. However, this should not diminish of what today means. Today is a joyous occasion where each and every one of you here are graduating. All of your hard work in academics and your contribution in student clubs associations has finally paid off. Time indeed passes by so fast. I was a student working on my final year project and juggling IES and IETPSB responsibilities. Now, a year has passed and I am back in my home country, Indonesia, where I have started a job in a components company. All this can only be achieved thanks to all the support of my family, friends, teachers, and people that I have met along the way in PSB and Coventry. We all have been through joys and sorrows throughout this short period of time, and all of this will become an important memory and a stepping stone for your future to come. We are no longer students, and with this, we will head into the real world where things may be different. So be strong and confident in what you do, and I will leave that every one of you here will reach success. This is the beginning of a new chapter for us, and I do hope that you can look forward to your bright future ahead. Once again, congratulations to graduating class of 2020. You deserve this. Hello everyone. This year's virtual graduation ceremony is somewhat unusual due to COVID-19, which has caused quite a bit of a stir, not just for us here in Singapore, but around the world, creating some very uncertain and challenging times. Nevertheless, here we are. My name is Sumitra, and I'm extremely honored, humbled, and beyond grateful to represent the class of 2020 Coventry University's postgraduate program. Undoubtedly, our sense of achievement and happiness is unmatchable today. Congratulations to all fellow graduates on your hard work and success. However, this success and happiness is not solely ours to rejoice in, but has been achieved together with our loved ones and our PSB Academy lecturers. Our loved ones who are always there understanding our commitment at school and at work, which resulted in the reduced time spent with the family. Our lecturers who have consistently imparted their knowledge and experience to us and always been available on a WhatsApp message, phone call or email. For those of us who are part-time students, our employers and line managers who supported us in this self-development and career-changing effort. This combined support and encouragement formed the foundation for us to leap into this challenge we all set ourselves. What an amazing journey it has been. The classroom banter, the adrenaline-raising assignment debates, the never-ending pings on the WhatsApp group chat when assignments are due, to the weekend lunches at Hans on the second floor. Now, equipped with a highly recognised degree, the world is our oyster. Singapore First Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew once said, to the young and to the not so old, I say, look at the horizon, follow the rainbow, go ride it. There are some of us who will set out on the search to nail that dream job and others who will return to our employment or even look to starting up a new venture. Whichever direction we may take, I am very confident that what we have learned over the last two and a half years will be applicable in our real lives, not just for ourselves, but also everyone else that we will be associating with. We have surely developed and matured that much more and are now able to make wiser decisions, whether personal or business, being aware of the impact and invaluable outcomes of those decisions. This is where the Leading in a Changing World module comes to my mind. As mentioned earlier, COVID-19 continues to rage around us, impacting countries, their economies, their livelihoods of people, and how and where we work and live in our ever-changing new normal. Many of us will go on to become leaders in our businesses, industries, or communities. We will be leading in a changing world. 
where the education that we have invested in, the lessons we have learned and the experience we have had will certainly aid and promote our much needed abilities and character to be adaptable and forward looking while building on, on our already developed skills and experience. This will help ensure that we recognize and are confident to do the right things and carve the road to many successes ahead of us. For me, the MBA was a personal goal, which I embarked on with a fair amount of trepidation some 10 years after my bachelor's. It's done now. At this point, I would like to take the opportunity to thank my loving husband, Kevin, who tolerated my mood swings, my stress levels and crankiness. Kevin is and will always be my silent pillar of strength. My brother Viknesh, who was always full of ideas when it came to the marketing and entrepreneurship modules, flooding my inbox with resources to research. My father and the rest of my family always cheering me on. Last but not least, my mother and grandparents who always believed in me. Thank you, Mummy, Amma and Tata, constantly looking over me from heaven. I know today, though, they would be the proudest. Finally, a shout out to Assistant Head of School of Postgraduate Studies, Dr. John Hay. We all did care, right? Who without your belief, guidance and humour, this wouldn't have been possible. To my classmates, Eunice, Keith, Aishing, Morgan and Aaron, thank you for the camaraderie and friendship. My dear fellow graduates, once again, heartfelt congratulations. Please give yourself a huge pat on the back, a hug to your loved ones and start sharing this wonderful moment. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now view the congratulatory messages from members of the staff from PSB Academy. We have now come to the end of proceedings. Thank you for joining us this afternoon, and we sincerely hope you enjoyed today's event. I now declare this graduation ceremony closed. Thank you. <laughs>